Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Brandon Habrilla from Red Max Entertainment. Today we're going to be uh, looking at the My DMX 3.0 hardware itself, the actual um, USB to DMX interface. And uh, so I got it in this case here. This is a Husky case that I got from Home Depot by me. Um, I believe it was $15, around there, $10 to $15. You could order them online. Um, it's basically like a watertight sealant case. Um, and it, it works to fit all this and cabling and accessories and stuff. Um, and outside the case here, I got a three pin DMX cable that we'll go over some stuff with um, once we open up the hardware. So in this case here, I got a three pin DMX terminator. I got a USB hub in case I need to plug other stuff in. I've got the USB cable that came with it. Okay, I have a um, security computer lock, like the Kingston type of lock, um, and you'll see why that will come in handy. I then have a three pin female to five pin male um, DMX adapter. Um, I'll show you that as well. Uh, I've got a spare USB cable, um, always good to have. I've got a USB on a uh, hard drive that um, I keep all my lighting shows on. All right, so then I got a uh, Velcro tie for some cabling. I got a uh, my DMX3 card, which is what the software came with. And then I got some business cards in here too. Um, I like to keep them in all my cases so that wherever I am, I could just grab one for a uh, client. And then of course we got the hardware itself, the My DMX 3.0 interface. Very slick design. Looks very similar to the 2.1. Uh, a few new added features. And place this case aside. Okay guys, so we're back now. You got a closer look to the camera view of this MyDMX 3.0 interface. I'll give you 360 view. All right, and then we got the top as well. So with that said, we're gonna start on the DMX connections of this unit. Um, and this is uh, something, a feature I really like about it. It's got a five pin output and a three pin output. Now this comes in handy um, a lot. Now, whether or not it's because you have five pin fixtures and three pin fixtures um, would be helpful too but the turnover I showed you guys earlier that I have three pin female to five pin male um, is really gonna come in handy with this. So you could run your normal lights off the three pin and you could plug the five pin male right into there. And now you have a second three pin. And yes, the DMX 3.0 interface works as a DMX splitter as well. So it'll send output to both of these um, and you could run your show and split it that way. Um, and I've had no trouble with that. Just make sure you terminate the ends of both lines um, and you should have no problem. And then here would be the other three pin connector that can go in here and it will send signal to both of these, um, no doubt. So that's an awesome feature. Now, the next feature, which is on the other side this um, is going to be for expansions um, in the near future. Don't have any as of right now. Then we have our USB connections. This is where the USB cable they gave us. It's the USB type B, um, which I have plenty of, so I always carry a spare or two. This is where that's gonna plug in right there. And now you also have a Kingston lock connection there. And that is for this Kingston PC lock where I could plug this in just like this. So I could plug this Kingston lock in and now lock this to the desk or wherever I'm working and have full um, control and safety over my MyDMX unit that I just purchased. Um, so once again, all together very slick design. You have some buttons on the top which allow for sp uh, standalone mode and to switch between functions. Um, once you have it running right, you will see PC on here, you'll see the, the uh, letters P and C. 
And so that's all I got regarding this unit. Um, however, we do have some really cool features um, as far as the software goes. So with the MyDMX3 software, some of the best new features is that you can play multiple scenes at a time. So if you're running, say you're running par cans and effects lights, you can create scenes for just the effects lights and scenes for just the par cans and click on them separately like that and play them separately at the same time. Um, you can also arrange your scenes into groups so you can make a group for all par cans, a group for all those, and you can play one scene out of each group. Very helpful um, feature in the new software. And this is all in the MyDMX3 software. Um, there's also a feature called blind editing, which allows you to edit the scenes without outputting the DMX that you're editing. So um, if you're, you know, in the middle of a show and you need to edit something or change something, you can do that. Um, they also add a BPM tap, so you can tap the BPM in the music and it'll change through the, the scenes or through the groups um, to that. There's also standalone backup memory, uh, as well as live snapshots, live scene dimming, and scene speed controls. Um, and then there's also a sound light um, with BPM audio analysis. The MyDMX 3.0 interface is fully compatible with the MyDMX 2.1 software as well as the 3.0 software. So if you already have the uh, 2.1 software or if you have a year, yearly membership or a monthly membership, you can still run it on that. Or if you have previous shows, you can still run it on that software. But I do highly recommend upgrading to the 3.0 software as the features it has um, is incredibly powerful. That's all I have for you today regarding the MyDMX 3.0 dongle. If you have any more questions, um, or you're looking for more info on the software, the MyDMX 3.0 software, go ahead, visit my channel, go to my playlists and my videos and find the MyDMX 3.0 tutorials. There's part one and part two up there. Um, and that should help you out a lot. Thank you for checking those out. I got some more videos coming up here for you regarding the Megapar Profile Plus uh, Park Hands and the Ultra Bar 6 Lite and uh, hopefully some new ADJ products along the way. Thank you guys for uh, checking out my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, enjoy your gear.